Shabbat Shalom. There's so much more many people than that volume that came out of this community's mouth. So let's do that again. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Oh my God, there you are. It is a joy for us to be here this morning and to share Shabbat with all of you as two members of our community become bar and bat mitzvah this morning, joining our adult community and accepting the mitzvot of the Jewish people amongst themselves. Our service is very much participatory. We would love for you to feel included, to sing along and to pray along so that we truly are present with our two B'nai Mitzvah this morning, accepting the mitzvot. We're going to be using the Mishkan Fila Sidur prayer book. If you don't have one, have one, because it's going to be much better if we're all doing this together this morning. <clears throat> there are two sets of page numbers in the book. Okay. There are two sets of page numbers in the book. I'm going to be calling out the page numbers that are in blue parentheses. Those are the page numbers that the kids are going to follow, and we are going to be right with them, chanting and singing along. We're going to begin our service this morning on page 290 with Matovu. on page 293. Elliot and Nala are going to lead us in what we like to call Nisim Bechol Yom, the daily miracles. These are just seemingly mundane activities that happen every day in our lives and we want to express gratitude for those moments in our lives. We're going to chant both in English and in Hebrew so that everybody can join us. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who has given the mind the ability to distinguish day from night. Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, 
who opens the eyes of the blind. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, who frees the captive. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, who lifts up the fallen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, who stretches the earth over the waters. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, who strengthens our steps. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, who clothes the naked. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, who gives strength to the weary. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, who removes sleep, who not slumber from the eyelids. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, who made me in the image of God. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, who has made me free. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, who has made me a Jew. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, who girds Israel with strength. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, who crowns Israel with splendor. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kedishanu v'tzvotar v'tivanu v'asok v'divrei Torah. Amen. And we echo to them in English on the same page, 296. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to engage with words of Torah. We continue on page 298, chanting such words of Torah. Eludivarim shein lahem shiur, shadam ochel perosehem baolam hazeh, veha kerem kayemet lo laolam haba, veeluhem kibud avaim, ugmi ud hasadim, vehashka mat bet ha mirurash, shecharit vearvit, vehachna sat orchim, Uvi kucholim, vechachna sat kala, uvayat ha med vehion te fila, vehava at shala, benadam le havero, vetamu torah, kene get kula. Together in English on the same page, these are things that are limitless, of which a person enjoys the fruit of the world, while the principle remains in the world to come. They are honoring one's father and mother, engaging in deeds of compassion, arriving early to study morning and evening, dealing graciously with guests, visiting the sick, providing for the wedding couple, accompanying the dead for burial, being devoted in prayer, and making peace among people. But the study of Torah encompasses them all. We continue with Psalm Page 306, a nice warm up. Not that it's not a sauna in here, and we're going to sing words of praise together. If you don't know all the words, please join us with the word hallelujah. 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 Together, Hallelujah, 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 The Tech of Hallelujah, Hallelujah, The Tofu Machol, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 
וצלצלי תנועה הללו, וצלצלי שמה הללו, וצלצלי תנועה כל הנשמה. תהלליה, הללויה, כל הנשמה. תהלליה, הללויה, הללויה. Continue on page 312 as we prepare for our call to worship the Baruch Hu. If you are able, please rise at this time. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMevodah Baruch Adonai HaMevodah Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaLam Yotzer Or Uvorei Choshech Ose Shalom Uvorei Et Hakol Hameir Laaretz Veladarim Eleha Velahat Uvtuvo Mechadesh Bechol Yom Tamid Maase Vureshit Ma Rabu Maasecha Adonai Kulam Bechokma Asita Mela Aaretz Kin Yedecha Titvarach Adonai Eloheinu Arshadach Masse Yadecha Val More Or Sheasita Yifarucha Sela Or Chadash Al Tzion Ta'ir Venizke Kulanu Mahara Leoro Baruch Ata Adonai Yotzer Hamoomot. We continue responsibly, praying responsibly on page 317 in the English. O oh God, inspiration and guide for all, you have spoken in a thousand tongues for us to hear. In every land and every age, your children have heard you and imagined you in separate ways. And yet, O oh God, you are one, unifier of humanity. Together, we give thanks to the sages and teachers who bring us understanding of your will. Gratefully, we recall the lawgivers and prophets, the psalmists and sages of Israel, and joyfully, we remember that from the dawn of Israel's life, we return to you and find purpose. May the teachings of our ancestors live on in our minds and their passion for righteousness stir our hearts. Help us to live so that our daily conduct reveals the beauty and wisdom of your truth. Ani, <laughs> 
दो लाए वह है page 322 singing verses from torah symbolizing our freedom and reminding us to continue to fight for it when it is not yet available ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ימלי חוב We come upon the Amida, the section called to stand. We will rise together as one community. We're going to begin together to pray. Elliot and Nala are going to lead us in the first sections, and then we're going to continue on our own, either with the prayers of the page or the prayers of your heart. When you are finished this section, please be seated at that time. If you are able, please rise. Adonai, sefata tiftach ufiya ki tehila techa. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu, ve'ele avoteinu, v'imoteinu. Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, ve'elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, ve'elohe Leah. Ha'el Hagador, Hagibor, ve'anora, El El Yon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, ve'kone Hako, ve'zocher Chasdei Avot ve'imachot, ומביא גאולה לבני בניהם למען שמו באהבה. מלך עוזר ומושיע ומגן ברוך אתה אדוני מגן אברהם בעזרת שרה. אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני מחיי הכל אתה רב להושיע משיב הרוח ומוריד הגשם מחכה חיים בחסד, מחיה הכל ברחמים רבים. סומך נופלים ורופא חולים, ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים אמונתו לשני עבר. מי חמוך עבר גרוע. Umidomelach, melech memid, umekhaye, umatzmiyat yeshua. Vene'eman ata lecha chayot hako, baruch ata Adonai, mechaye hako. Mekadesh et shimcha ba'olam. כשם שמקדישים אותו בשמרים על הונה ככתוב על יד נביאיך וקרא זה אל זה ואמר קדוש 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 אדוני צבאות ולא חוק הארץ כ... Adir, Adir, Adonai, Adonai, Adir, Shimcha, Adir, Shimcha, Oh, 
Welcome to the Temple B'nai Or. Welcome to all of you here. Welcome to you online. Here we are, the last Shabbat before Purim, our holiday of Purim, a time of joy. Of course, it is Shabbat already, a time of joy. Of course, we're we're calling two young people up to the Torah for the first time, a time of joy. Here we are. It's hot in here, which maybe makes us giddy. I don't know. So. There's a lot of, of joy in the room, so turn to each other in joy and happiness and warmth. Wish the people around you a Shabbat Shalom. Introduce yourselves to the people around you. So let us, we, we welcome each other, let's welcome the Torah, Seder Kriyat HaTorah, our Torah service, is found on page 362 in our Siddur. Please, in any way that you're able, please rise. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Elliot, here we are on, on the Bima, here at Temple B'nai Or, but I want you to use your imagination that we are standing at Sinai, standing where our ancestors received the Torah, but our tradition says it wasn't just our ancestors there, it was all of the Jewish people who were and who were yet to be. Here you are with generations of, of your families, your, your extended clan here. I want you, though, to think about that going all the way back and then, God willing, going into the future. Because the giving of the Torah was not just a historical event, it's an ongoing event happen happening at every moment. So when we place the Torah into your arms, it's not just, it's not just the words on the scroll, it's our way of life in the world, our gift to you, our gift to the world. So I want you to take this gift and embrace it. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonainu, Kadosh Shemo, Lecha Adonai Agadol Agevur. Our parasha, our, our Torah portion this day, Titzaveh, from the book of uh, Shemot of Exodus. If you would like to follow along with the chanting, it's found in the other book in the pews. There's not enough for everybody, but we can share. It's called a Chumash, a Torah commentary. Uh, Titzaveh begins on page 339. But first, Elliot will introduce the Torah portion with his teaching of Torah. This week's Torah portion is Titzaveh. Like many portions in the Torah, we learn about sacrifices our ancestors offered to God. Animals like sheep and goats and doves and crops like grain. But what were the sacrifices for? 
Rabbi Jeffrey Salkin says that sacrifice is a way of worship. We can learn something from the animals that our ancestors offered for sacrifices. All were domesticated animals because you had to bring something that belonged to you. So a sacrifice is giving up something of value. The sacrificial animals were not predators. The Israelites believed that this was God's way of telling them that other nations would pursue them as well. This further became their way of learning what their future history would be. So our ancestors were kind of acting out the qualities of animals like sheep and goats, which are communal animals that aren't violent. Rabbi Bernard Bamberger says the term sacrifice as used in the Bible is misleading nowadays because most people believe that sacrifice is an act of self-deprivation, like giving up something for greater value. However, sacrifice can be a religious rite. The offering was large and the worshiper couldn't always afford to make it. It was always a sacrifice to some superior power, namely God. Like when you have a party with a close one, you want the best food. A sacrifice was you bring the best for God. I think sacrifice can be losing something for some sort of gain, either someone else's gain or a personal gain. In ancient times, Jews sacrificed animals such as goat or sheep to God as an apology to show care or to honor him. However, in some cases, sacrifice can be used to honor God or worship God, and the person sacrificing does not gain anything. Like giving a true gift of love today does not require anything in return. To me, sacrifice to me, sacrifice means that something is given up from one person for the good of somebody or something else or for the good of the person who is sacrificing. For example, sacrifice could be a religious ritual where an animal is sacrificed to a god. In this case, God will most likely benefit from this in some sort of way, like seeing the allegiance of the worshiper. Furthermore, sacrifice also can mean selling an old house and then using the money for charity. Both of these terms fit into my definition because in both scenarios, something is lost purposefully with the intent for someone else or somebody else sacrificing to gain something afterwards. I embody sacrifice in my life by giving up a lot of time, relaxation, and more to be able to play soccer at a high level. My soccer is very time consuming. Therefore, I must give up opportunities to hang out with friends, get work done, and leave myself with little time to relax so I can go to practice, games, and more. <coughs> However, I enjoy this sacrifice and I believe that sacrificing my time I benefit on something that could possibly be my future career and something that I also have fun in in the process. My mitzvah project is raising money for children in need who live in Africa. My mitzvah project can show how the term sacrifice can have many definitions. For example, sacrifice for me could be sacrificing my time, money, or something special in order to get something I want. However, my mitzvah project expresses how sacrifice can be forced upon people in need and how sacrifice for the people I'm raising money for is very different from the sacrifices I might make. Furthermore, sacrifice for these people can mean having to leave a child alone so they can work for survival, or not having food for a day, or spending time away from a family just to make enough money to survive. It makes my sacrifice seem easy in comparison. My mitzvah project can show how making what seems like a small sacrifice to me can make an extreme difference for others. the Torah portion, as Rabbi denoted. We're on page 339 in the Hertz Komash, if you're following along. For Aliyah 1 this morning, you're honored to call up Ido and Jennifer Zairi, Alyssa and Ben Maizano, Josh Barr and Sarah Nybart, Jason and Rebecca Ingber, and Stacy and Dory Turnett. יעמדו עידו וגיטל רחל, יעל שירה בנימין יוסף בן אברהם, ברוך יהושע ושרה רבקה רבקה, זלך ראובן ורבקה, ושן ארזל ויוסף לעלייה ראשונה. Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai Baruch Amen Amen Ve'ata Titzave Et B'nai Yisrael V'ikhu Eilecha Shemen Zayit zach katit lamaor lehalot ner tamid 
Be'ohel mo'ed Michutz la parochet Asher ha'idut Ya'aron Oto ha'aron Uvanav Ha'erev ad boker Livne Adonai Chukat olam Ledorotam Me'ed b'nei Yisrael Am For Ali Atu, for all our grandparents, Saul Barr, Mary Barr, Jeffrey Ingber, and Vicky Ingber. Yamdu, Shalom Ben Yitzchak, Mirel Bat Ita, Yosef Shmuel, and Miriam Tova, La Ali Ashniya. Baruch Adonai Hamrach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamrach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bachavanu Nikol Hamid. Benatam Lanu Et Torto. Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Ve'ata hakarev elecha. את אהרון אחיך ואת בניו איתו מתוך בני ישראל לך חנו לי אהרון נדב ואביחו אלעזר ואיתמר בני אהרון ועשית בגדי קודש לאהרון אחיך לכבוד ולתפארת ואתה תדבר אל תרחך מלב אשר מלטיב רוח חכמה ועשו בגדי קודש לאהרון אחיך לקדשו לך חנולי. Amen. You can stay, you can stay. Stay, stay. If they want to, there's no rush. For Aliyah 3, we are proud and honored to call up our parents and our siblings, Michael, Lori, Hayden, Shana, and Skyler. Ya'amdu, Menachem Elchanan, Malka Shoshana, Chaim, Micha, Menachem Elchanan, Malka Shoshana, Shana Miriam, Menachem Elchanan, Malka Shoshana, Ve'ezra, Ben Menachem Elchanan, Malka Shoshana, La'aliyah Shalishit. And I just want to acknowledge uh, that Skyler, who had a COVID bar mitzvah, I'm very honored to have you on the Bima now, since you had to do it in very special circumstances. So we're honored to have you up here now with your brother. Go ahead. Baruch Adonai Hamorach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamorach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Ha'amin. Benat Hamanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. ואלה הבגדים אשר יעשו חושן ואפוד ומאיר וטונת תשבת מטמפת ואבנית ויעשו בגדי קודש לאהרון אחיך ובניו לך חנולי והם יקחו את הזכב ואת החלת ואת הרגמן ואת תולעה השני ואת השש. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם נתן בתוכנו, ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. 
now for our Aliyah. Yeah, kids here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hands for the kids. For Aliyah four, we now call up Elliot now as a bar mitzvah. Yamod abachur bar mitzvah. Eliyahu Yaakov ben Menachem el Hanan ve Malka Shoshana. La Aliyah, la Torah. Baruch et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach leolam va'en. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach leolam va'en. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher bachar banu miko ha'amin. Venatan lanu et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai noten ha'torah. Amen. Ve'asu et ha'efod. Zahav, Techelet Vergaman, Tolat Shani, Veshesh Mosh Zar, Mase Hoshev, Shite, Tefot, Hoverot, Ye Yellow, El Shne Kitotav, Vehubar, Vehesher, Efurato, Ume Asher, I love. Kema asehu mimenu yehye zahav techelet vergaman tolat shani veshesh mosh zar vaseh Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet Vehaye Olam Nata Betochenu Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Simen Tov Umazel Tov Umazel Tov Simen Tov Simen Tov Umazel Tov Umazel Tov Simen Tov Simen Tov Umazel Tov Now Tov Simen Tov Yeah You can go there and throw candy Simon Tov, who mazel, go now, go now. Simon Tov, who mazel, yeah, yeah. Simon Tov, who mazel, Tov, who mazel, Tov, Simon Tov, yeah. Blessing Misha Berach, Avotenu Bimotenu, Abraham Yitzchak Yaakov, Sarah Rika Rachel, Velea, Hu Yivarech et Eliyahu Yaakov Ben Ben Menachem Elchanan Umalka Shoshana Shehegia Lemitvot Ve'ala Likvod HaMakom Likvod HaTorah May the one who blessed our ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah Bring blessing to Eliyahu Yaakov, the son of Menachem Elchanan, and Malka Shoshana, to Elliot Ingber, who has reached the age of responsibility and was called to the Torah for the first time. We celebrate the dedication that brought you to this sacred moment today. May God watch over you. May your parents continue to raise you to adulthood and lead you to a life filled with blessings, a blessing of Torah, of Jewish learning, of chupa, the joy of a loving relationship, and of ma'asim tovim, of good deeds. May you find favor before God and the entire Jewish community, and together we say, Amen. Amen. Now we're going to hear some uh, words of blessing from our parents. Okay, just one. Elliot, you're amazing. You did amazing, despite the fact that you and Nala are total opposites. There's nobody who I'd rather you do this with. <laughs> okay, that was shorter than I thought. Okay, you're like a daughter to me, and I love all the time that we spend together. I really love the time that we spend together in the car, and you guys talk on your phones or just not don't 
talk at all, really. We text on our Instagram until somebody brings up the B'nai Mitzvah, and then we all stress out about it for the next 15 minutes, and then we go back to our phones. I don't know what we're going to talk about anymore after this. Huh. Elliot, you are the perfect fourth child. Quiet. Fourth. I said fourth. Okay. Quiet in a very loud house. Mild-mannered amongst animals, some literal, some figurative, and always wise beyond your years. You get most of those traits from your father, thankfully. At four years old, you were asking me about articles that you read in the New York Times and what I thought of them. Just about a week ago, you asked me what kind of caviar I preferred best. You are a unique child at best. Empathetic, soft-smoken, witty, fun, smart, and athletic. It is a very good combination. You really handled all the mitzvah prep without dad or I annoying you, which is no small feat. You have big dreams. Most of them involve goalie gloves, but you also dream about helping people, using your amazing listening skills and your quiet demeanor to ease the burdens that other people feel. I hope you do whatever makes you happy, but a soccer scholarship would be good too. This is just the beginning of your life as a Jewish adult, and I have no doubt you'll make us even more proud. Aliyah. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, you can say that. Uh, for this Aliyah, we're going to call up alongside with Nala, our bat mitzvah. We're going to call up her parents, Alyssa and Benjamin, Lila Rose, Jackson Noah, Paisley Brooke. יעמדו יעל שירה בנימין יוסף בן אברהם ושרה לילה שושנה בת יעל ובנימין יעקב נוח בן יעל ובנימין ובבלה בת יעל ובנימין ובת המצווה שלנו תעמוד הבחורה בת המצווה נעמית הבת יעל ובנימין לעלייה לתורה Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Mele Ha'olam Asher Barhar Banu Mikol Ha'amim Benatai Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Kidashti et ohel mo ed, be et aha miste, be et aha ron, be et bana akadesh, be ha Friends, okay. the point is not to hurt people. The, fr the point is to do this in joy. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. Sorry. 
Mishabera Avoteno Vimoteno Abraham Yitzchak Yaakov Sarah Rivka Rachel Leia, who Yivarech no me ita bat ya el vinya min, che gil mitzvot, the altalik vod ha makom, the lik vod ha Torah. May the God who blessed her ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bring blessing to Naomi, Ita, the daughter of Yael, and Binyamin, to Nala, my son, who has reached the age of responsibility and was called to the Torah for the first time. We celebrate the dedication that brought you to this sacred moment today. May God watch over you, and may your parents continue to raise you to full adulthood, leading you to a life filled with blessing, the blessing of Torah, of Jewish learning, of Chupa, the joy of a loving relationship, and of Ma'asim Tovim, of good deeds. May you find favor before God and the entire community, and together we say, Amen. Amen. And now, a blessing for all of those who have come up to the Torah today. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bring blessing to all of those who have come up to the Torah in honor of God, in honor of the Shabbat. May they merit from the Holy One of Blessing protection, rescue from any trouble or distress, and from any illness, minor or serious. May God send blessing and success in their every endeavor, together with all of Israel, and let us say, Amen. Amen. And with all the excitement, I messed up the order, so I'm going to say thank you to our siblings. You guys could go back down. Parents, you stay here so you could offer your blessing after. And now we're going to hear Nala's words of wisdom about this Torah portion, which we should have done before. This week's Torah portion is Saveh. In this portion, we learn about the lamp in the ancient sanctuary that was always lit, sometimes called the menorah and sometimes called the Ner Tamid. In a synagogue, the Ner Tamid is a light that constantly burns over the ark, shining on the Torah. There are many thoughts about how the Torah should be translated as to what the Ner Tamid is. But in the end, it is a light that shines and guides the Jewish people representing God's light. The Ner Tamid guides the people, guides the Jewish people like my parents guide me in life. They guide me by setting me up for success in school and support me in life. The Ner Tamid in the Torah is fueled by olive oil. Rabbi Harvey Field compares the Jewish people to olives. Olives get beaten down and crushed before they turn into olive oil that we need for the light. All of us have been crushed by something and we can grow stronger by it. A time where I persevered was this summer when I knew a school wasn't a good fit for me and I was not happy, so my parents helped me change schools. I had to start over and it was very hard, but now I am successful and getting good grades and have lots of friends. The pain of failing helped me realize that I need a change, like the beaten olive. Now I have the fuel to shine. Our Jewish tradition is how we all are lights to the world. By living through mitzvot, we strive to bring goodness to the world. This is why this synagogue is called Temple B'nai Or, the children of light. To my family, being Jewish is about loving your family, supporting Israel and the Israeli army, celebrating Shabbat together, and being charitable. I help my mom with her foundation, Growing Hearts of Africa, and I have a school in Uganda named after me because I raised money for them when I was nine years old. I pray that as I mature as a Jew, I will continue to strive to be like the Ner Tamid, always shining. I will try to bring more light to this world that is often full of darkness. I hope that we are all inspired to be B'nai Or, children of light. To say I'm proud of Nala would be an understatement. The, the hard work she has put in for over a year now has been absolutely incredible, and it shows with how unbelievable she did this morning. Thank you all so much for coming to celebrate the biggest day in her life thus far. Having a bat mitzvah is so incredibly special to us. Nala took this very seriously, and with encouragement, teachings, and guidance from Cantor Galit, Lisa, and the rabbi, she was able to learn everything she needed and more. I remember my bat mitzvah so clearly. I remember memorizing my Torah portion. I remember messing up halfway through on that day. But I also remember looking up and seeing the support of everyone I know 
staring right back at me. I am so grateful that Nala has that same thing today. Nala, your hard work and dedication to studying for your bat mitzvah made me so emotional. Things aren't always easy for you, but you accomplished this beautifully. The way you took to learning the prayers was unbelievable. Thank you for dedicating yourself so much to Jewish traditions and embracing the most important parts of it, which to us is spending time celebrating with our family, being a part of the Shabbat prayers every week, and being such a good person. I'm so proud of the teenager you have become. I could not ask for a more caring, sympathetic, responsible 13-year-old that at times even makes your I'm okay. You are also a great sister and friend, as you can see by the people that are here to support you. Nala and Eli have been planning their B'nai Mitzvah since they were about five years old and having a sleepover at my house. I remember going in to yell at them to go to sleep and heard them whispering about what they wanted at their party. I smiled and closed the door again. Eli and Nala have had a twin-like connection since they were born and have been best friends ever since. I'm so grateful for the support they show each other through thick and thin. I can't wait to watch them grow up together. Eli, I'm so incredibly proud of what you've accomplished today and we love you so much. Lastly, I want to thank everyone here. Ben and I are unbelievably grateful for all of you. Thank you to my siblings and all of Nala's cousins for being such positive Jewish role models and influences on her life. And thank you to her grandparents for their constant support. They say it takes a village, but for us, it takes a family compound built on love and support. Nala's a very lucky girl. We love you so much and we're very proud of you. It's so <laughs> to our parents to dress and hold the Torah. We're going to call up uh, Paisley Maizano and Jordan Ingram. Please rise. After the, the chanting of the Torah, we have the Haftarah, words from our prophet, often reflect a theme from the Torah portion as we learn from our B'nai Mitzvah that the Torah portion is very much centered around the sanctuary, the, the Mishkan, the, um, the traveling sanctuary our people would take with them throughout the wilderness. Eventually, when our people settled down in the land of Israel, they built a temple. But our Haftarah today comes from Yechezkel, the uh, the prophet who lived in exile in Babylon after the temple was destroyed, and he's imagining a rebuilt temple. Now, a lot, of, a lot of modern Jews, a lot of modern people don't feel this connection about what Eliot was teaching us about, about the sacrifices. Um, but I want us to imagine what it might have been like to be an ancient person coming to Jerusalem and seeing the biggest building you've ever seen, where there were choirs, singing, where there were, what talks about a lot in our Haftarah, the incense was burning, the smell of roasting meat, the smell of, of, um, of baking bread, and the, the priests, which, we, which our kids chanted about, wearing these costumes with, with jewels and fine linen, it would have been an overwhelming experience, and that was the point, the point being overwhelmed with awe was to then recognize that we're not the center of the universe, but at the same time, with all the people there with you, you are part of something that's greater than yourself. 
and part of something that is working towards this holy, this holy mission. So uh, Eliot will chant from our Haftarah, which uh, you can find in the, in the Torah commentary on page uh, 350. We'll begin with a blessing. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Bin Vi'im Tovim Eratza V'divrehem Hanemarim Ve'emet Baruch Adonai Habocher Batorah Uv'Moshe Avdo Uv'Yisrael Amo Uv'in V'ei Ha'emet Batzedek Umechek Ha'aretz Ad Hazara Ha'tachtona Shetayim Amot Ve'rochav Ama Echad Umehazara Ha'getana Ad Hazara Ha'gedola Arba Amot Ve'rochav Ha'ama Veha Ariel Arba Abmot Umeha Ariel Ulemala Hakera no hot Arba Veha Ariel Shetehen Esre Orech Bishtehen Esre Rochav Ravu Ahel Arba at Reva Av Veha Azara Arba Esre Orech Veba Esre Rochav El Arbaat Reva Eha Veha Gavu Savivota Hatsi Hama Veha Hekla Ama Saviv Umalatehu Benot Kadim Vayomer Ela Ben Adam Ko Amar Adonai Elohim Ele Chukot HaMizbeach Bayom HaAsoto Lehalot Alav Ola Velizrok Ela Dam Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Sur Ko HaOlamim Sadik Bechol HaDorot HaEl HaNeemar HaOmer VeOseh HaMedaber UMekayem Sheko Devara VeMet VaTzedek Al HaTorah VeAl HaVoda VeAl HaNivim VeAl Yom HaShabbat HaHazeh Shenatata Lanu Adonai Eloheinu Likdusha VeLimnucha Lechavot Ulitifaret Al Hakol Adonai Eloheinu Anachnu Modim Lach Umarochim Al Tach Yitbarach Shimcha Befi Kochai Tamid Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Merkadesh HaShabbat Amen Please rise as we return the Torah to the Ark.
Ali and Ala. It, it was an honor, it was a, a pleasure to study Torah with you leading up to this day. You taught us important lessons about sacrifice, something that's often hard uh, for young people to connect to in the Torah, and about the Ne'er Tamid and, and connecting us to, to our mission in life to be a Ne'er Tamid, to be a light. When I, I mentioned a few things from the Torah portion. One that I, I just thought of while, while, while you were chanting is like uh, what Sly Stone says. If you don't know who Sly Stone is, ask your uh, grandparents. The Torah portion was a family affair. Here you are with your large family here because uh, Moshe and Aharon, Moses and Aaron are brothers. The priests in the, in the sanctuary that you chanted about, Aaron's sons, eventually we'll have more and more cousins as, as we go along in the Torah. All of the Kohanim there are a family. And it's a family working together, representing holiness for the people that then acts as an example for the people in their family. The, the Torah itself talks about family and how you first lo learn love and service for the greater whole from the local, the, the small, the who you are most close with. And it's very inspiring for all of us, two cousins here together, like brother and sister, as, as your parents said, to act as the vessels of holiness for the rest of us, through your family and through the whole congregation someday through the world that uh, we, as I said, you learn love and service that you both have through your family. Now, another thing from the Torah portion that I think is related that I want to pick up on, that I want to expand on, on what Nala taught us about the ner tamid. So usually we say ner tamid means, means eternal light, which it does, but this word tamid not eternal by itself. It's something you have to continuously do. So let's think about the Ner Tamid, or also called the Menorah, the great uh, candelabra in the, in the ancient temple. It says, right at the beginning of the Torah portion, that you have to make Shemen Zayit Zach, pure olive oil. And as you, you told us, Nala, that you have to crush things. That was a beautiful teaching about being crushed and coming up from that. But, but it was hard work to do the crushing, not just to be crushed, but to do the crushing. To have light, to project light into the world, you have to work. But, but it's not just any kind of olive oil they made. It was Shemen Zeit Zach, this pure, clear olive oil, you know, the, the extra virgin olive oil, the expensive stuff that you buy at the, at the shop. You have to do even more work. But I think Zach, the, the clear, the pure, has to do with ourselves that we put into that work. And so we go to it, we attempt to, with a pure heart. Now we can't always do that. Life gets in the way, but we attempt to, we strive to put our, our pureness into what we do. Whether that's what we do for fun, gymnastics and soccer, whether that's what we do in school to learn, but it's also the continual work to be lights in the world, to be partners with God in the world. That's what it is to be in Ner Tamid, hard work. Sometimes we, we don't have quite the pure olive oil, but we continue to strive for it. I, blessing to both of you is to continue to do that grinding of olives, the smashing, the whatever. I don't know what word, you guys live on a farm, I don't know what word you use for, for olive oil, but continue to do that hard work, tamid, always. Attempt to have your pureness come out through that work. And as the work continues, it will continue to shine we will continue to be ner tamid, will continue, you will continue to be the or children of light into the world.
Hokba Hafokba, that's why we say about Torah that it doesn't matter how much you talk about it and how much you spin it around, you always have more to say. I actually want to pick on the same verse that Rabbi just talked about and like take another twist on it. So Parashat Etzaveh, as you both have taught us so beautifully, discusses with such small detail like what the priests are going to wear and what the priests are going to do and all the functions of the priests and the sacrifices. And you talked about understanding the idea of making sacrifices in order to become the Jew that you want to become. And then Nala, you talked about the Ner Tamid and this eternal light that the, uh, that the rabbi also just uh, elaborated on a little bit. What Enlightened, I'd how about that? Enlightened, <laughs> okay, yeah, let's go with that. And so what I'd like to express is something in just like taking the Hebrew apart, because Hebrew is the best language. In case you didn't know, I want to teach you that lesson. So you could say, and the way the trope is um, denoted here is that we say ner tamid, the eternal light, but actually, maybe, in the Hebrew, lehalot ner means to always bring up the light, tamid, always, which could also mean again and again and every time and every time, which is exactly what I hope that you take on from this Torah portion is that it's not enough that you work so hard to get up here today and learn this Torah, but you continue moving forward. Every single day, every morning that you wake up in your life, that you say again, like, how am I going to lehaalot ner? How am I going to raise up that light once again in order to bring Judaism to your lives, to your family's lives, and to the universe? I have been in awe and have said many, many times in front of your family of your rich Shabbat tradition. You are truly, and somewhat unfortunately, like an exception in the 21st Jewish world where you have like Shabbat practice every Shabbat. You have received such a gift from the last generation, your parents, your grandparents. But how are you going to take that tradition forward? How are you going to sustain your leha'alot ner Tamid as you move forward. And so my blessing to you is that you continue to do what you did here today so beautifully in leading us in prayer, in chanting the Hebrew, in really analyzing the Torah portion and gleaning meaning from it, that you continue to do that for your generation as you move forward, that you continue to make Torah relevant and meaningful and tamid, an everyday thing. We ask for God's blessings upon you at this time. Yevarech Adonai veishmerecha. May the Eternal One bless you and protect you. Yaer Adonai panav lecha vichunecha. May the One who is light eternally shine light upon you and be gracious to you. Yisa Adonai panav lecha veyasem lecha shalom. May you always be in God's presence. May God's presence always lift you up and bless you with shalom, with peace. And we all say, Amen. Amen. Our, there's more blessing. We all have blessings in our hearts for our, for our B'nai Mitzvah. We, we take these blessings and put them through the words of our tradition, thanking God for giving us life, for, for sustaining us, for enabling us to reach this joyous occasion. We ask that... Uh, Elliot and Nala's uh, extended family, please to rise. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechayanu vekimanu vehigiyanu Lazman hazeh Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechayanu vekimanu vehigiyanu lazman hazeh Begin to conclude our service at the bottom of page 586 
Aleinu, please rise. Aleinu l'shabach l'adon hakol, l'atet gedula l'yotzer b'reshit, sh'lo hasanu k'goye ha'aratzot, v'lo hosamanu k'mishpechot ha'adama, sh'lo sam chelkeinu k'hem v'gohor aleinu k'chol ha'amona, v'anachnu k'orim, u'mishtachavim, u'modim, l'ifnei melech, malchei ha'malachim, ha'kadosh v'aruchu, Let's pray on 591. May we gain wisdom in our lives, overflowing like a river with understanding. Loved each of us for the peace we bring to others. May our deeds exceed our speech. May we never lift up our hand but to conquer fear and doubt and despair. Rise up like the sun, O God, over all humanity. Cause light to go forth over all the lands between the seas. And light up the universe with the joy of wholeness, of freedom, and of peace. Veneemar vehaya Adonai lemelech al kol ha'aret Vayom ha'hu, vayom ha'hu Yia Adonai echad Ushmo, ushmo, ushmo We think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at the season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. The Bene Or family thinks about, because of the, the first month of mourning, Malcolm Bush, Charles Tomwe, and Ruth Pallas. This week marks the yard site, the anniversary of the death of Mark Apirian, Ida Berman, Michael Blank. Stanley Blaustein, Solomon J. Buxbaum, Sam Chase, Morris Cooper, Rose Devon, Nettie Epstein, Betty Erickson, Stanley Gould, Flora Kahn, Gladys Cantor Kahn, Ben Klinger, Paul Lerner, Simon Leventhal, Abe Levine, Rosalind Muller, Irving Pallas, M.D. Phelps, Bernard Price, Bessie Rockland, May Salloy, Shia Saltzman, Mark Sedler, Goldie Shapiro, Mary L. Tolkoff, and Esther Weintraub. If you're remembering someone like to say their name, please do so as I go around. May their memories be for blessing. The Mourner's Kaddish is on page 598. Amen. Amen. Vit ha'ar, vit romam, vit nase, vit hadar, vit ale, vit halal, shemei de kudasha, rikhu. De elam in kol berchata, beshirata, tush berchata, benechemata, dam iran, be alma, be imru, amen. Yehe, shlama, rabam, in shemaya, bakhaim, alenu, be al kol yisrael, be imru, amen. O se shalom, be romab. Shalom Aleinu V'yalkol Yisrael V'yimru Amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all of Israel, to all of the world, to which we say, Amen. service to a close with our Kiddush. Some we invite our families to our uh, Kiddush table over here. Uh, page 604. Kiddush is on 604. V'shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la'asot et 
השבת לדור אותם ברית עולם ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדור אותם ברית עולם ביני ובין בני ישראל בני ישראל לא אותי לעולם ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדור אותם ברית עולם כי ששת ימים עשו אדוני עשו אדוני את השמיים ואת הארץ ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדור אותם ברית עולם וביום השביעי שבת ויהי נפש שבת ויהי נפש שבת ויהי נפש ושם לעשות את השבת לדור אותם ברית עולם על כן ברך אדוני את יום השבת ויקדשהו Share, 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 go ahead, bless. Baruch Adonai, Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaMot, Shabbat Shalom. I'm sharing the challah, Shabbat Shalom, Mazel Tov to everybody. Shabbat Shalom.